after finishing a project, I'm trying my best to quickly follow up with a new one, but I keep finding myself scrolling endlessly through reference pictures, unable to decide on anything. I would like to actually get some mileage and not agonize for days or weeks in between projects over what to draw next. Do you have any advice for this? I do. This is a great question. I actually just talked about this on my email newsletter. If you're not already on it, it's free. Link is in the video description. So if you are struggling in between pieces, one of the things that I talked about in the email, stop scrolling. When you get into this habit of endlessly scrolling, Pixabay and Unsplash, and there are tons of things to inspire us there, but it's too easy to keep scrolling. So if you hit that wall and you're just like, ah, oh, I can't pick one, whatever room you are in, look to your left, what do you see to draw? I've got a razor blade sitting right here. I draw a razor blade in a sketchbook. I could draw the water bottle. I could draw the pencil sharpener. I mean, whatever is next to you, start sketching because creativity is going to find you working. It's not gonna find you sitting at the TV. And I know in this case, Sandra was not saying she's sitting at the TV, she's scrolling endlessly, but it can get to the point, and I've had students do this. So my classes, when I used to teach in person, were two hours long. I'd have students spend two hours going through reference photos to try to pick one. Pick something, pick anything, get started. We get in this mindset that our next piece has to top our previous piece. It always has to one up. It has to keep getting better. It has to be the next most amazing. No, it absolutely doesn't. You're gonna have a lot of in-between filler pieces in between those big amazing pieces. So let's say you just finished something, you loved it, you're trying to think of what to do next, you can't think of anything, start sketching. Start drawing anything. I can draw my plant over here. I could draw Wade laying in the bed. I could draw whatever, draw anything. Stop looking. When you realize, oh, I've been looking too long, stop. Start drawing. Because let's say I'm drawing a pair of scissors. My mind can start wandering. What if there was an octopus holding these scissors? What else would that octopus be holding? Your mind starts to wander from one thing to another to another, but that creativity is going to find you working. Yes, going through Pixabay and Unsplash is helpful, but you will hit a point where you're just not, nothing. And trust me, I do this all the time. I did it recently. I could not think of anything for a live stream one day. I'm looking through all these photos. I'm like, no, no, no. Somebody left a comment while I was searching over on YouTube requesting, I forget what it was specifically that they wanted. Done, that was easy. You, you just gave me something to do. I just needed something, anything. Don't keep scrolling. Sometimes you just end up in that endless loop. Draw whatever's next to you. And while you're drawing, it could be a coffee cup. Well, what could I add in the coffee cup? Should there be an apple sitting next to it? What if there's something inside? What if there's a fish inside the coffee cup? What if you go through these what ifs as you're sketching? That, that's the exercise you want to, to be doing and it will get all of your creativity flowing, but you've gotta be working.